Hi, I'm Kyle Rose, and we're joined in studio by CTV meteorologist Gary Archibald. Gary, thank you for being here. Uh, my pleasure to be here, Kyle. Good to see you again. Thank you. And so we're just going to get right into it now. And, you know, we've talked, I've just finished my internship at CTV with you guys. Right. Um, my first question for you is, being in a smaller market here in Windsor, you've worked all over, you know, back home in Toronto, uh, New York. Talk to us about the differences you've seen between smaller markets and bigger markets. Well, storytelling is storytelling no matter where you are, whether you're in New York City in the Big Apple working for uh, the biggest media uh, conglomerate in the world or one of the biggest with NBC News or the Weather Network here, number one market in Toronto, but a national or nationwide organization. Um, CTV Windsor is still in and of itself a, a media unit that uh, does all of those things, those bigger market um, organizations do. We tell stories. We tell stories about what's happening in the world, what's happening in the local community. Um, the work is just as, shall we say, difficult at times and just as wonderful. I'm passionate about what I do. I'm a meteorologist, so weather is my uh, first and foremost uh, my great greatest love mm -hmm. professionally but I'm a reporter I'm a storyteller yes. and whether I'm talking about a hurricane that's uh, smashing the Gulf Coast states in the mm -hmm. US uh, with the Weather Network yeah. or uh, NBC's Weather Plus or MSNBC mm -hmm. or the Today Show nightly news mm -hmm. or whether I'm just talking about a local story here mm -hmm. about a homeless shelter um, it's about disseminating information it's yeah. about telling creative stories mm -hmm. um, so the differences there aren't that many. Yeah. It's just maybe seen by more people in a yeah. larger market, mm -hmm. but you still have to tell effective, compelling mm -hmm. stories that are thought-provoking and draw an audience. Definitely, and you know, you're a very busy man with all the storytelling you do do. Yeah. Talk to us about, you're also teaching here part-time at St. Clair. I love teaching. Like? Mm -hmm. I love uh, working with young people. Yeah. Young people provide me with, um, shall we say, this, uh, the, they energize me to mm -hmm. to think in more uh, imaginative terms, uh, to be more creative. Um, I'm older now, mm -hmm. right? I'm not I'm not as young as I used to be, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and to be around young people with new, fresh ideas, I think, is invigorating. And that's that's part of the blessing of being able to teach, to give back, but also to learn. I'm learning Definitely. as I'm teaching. Definitely, and I'm sure it was the same thing. You were at Durham College teaching yes, there as well, too, right? Yes. Uh, what have been the differences between St. Clair and Durham? Uh, Durham College, I taught a first-year class. There's mm -hmm. different... Um, sensibilities, I think different expectations. I'm teaching a postgraduate course here okay. on Convergence Media. Uh, I find the students here, are uh, many of them are gamers, okay. right? Really in it because they're passionate about being journalists, being yeah. storytellers. First year students often struggling to find their mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. uh, but not to discredit that yeah. group. Mm -hmm. There were stars there. There are always stars. There are always people that make you smile. Okay. And you look at those students and you say, that person's gonna be really successful they mm -hmm. they have the goods mm -hmm. and i'm here to help facilitate that definitely yeah well gary thank you so much for your time my pleasure i wish we could talk longer but you know indeed we're out of here well-dressed man much. gary archibald ctv news